welcome to Cozy Rosie, reviews from my couch. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. So today we're going to do Fear Street Part 2, 1978. It's based on R.L. Stein's books by the same name. So this is part two of a part three series that Netflix is releasing. It's really exciting because it's the first time they've done something like this. It's been one week since part one was released and at the beginning of part two you do get an entire recap. It's nice because you get a nice little reminder of what happened in the last movie and you're reeled back into where your brain is supposed to be for part two. The vibe. So I definitely got Jason vibes Friday the 13th vibes. It was great. I felt like this was a really good, well put together storyline and this movie felt a lot more cohesive than the last one. Part two took place in Camp Nightwing. So the majority of the story takes place at this camp, which is why I got all of the Jason vibes. It was really, really interesting. And it also reminded me of American Horror Story. So if you like that kind of movie, that kind of atmosphere, you're definitely going to like part two. So for the cast, there are some familiar faces. There's Kiera Aurelia from Cruel Summer. Loved Cruel Summer. If you haven't seen it, it is on Hulu um, or Freeform. And then there's also Sadie Sink from Stranger Things. So time for the good things, the things I liked. I liked that there was more of a connection between the stories. This felt a lot more like an origin story, which is what I think I was looking for last time around. Now the stories that we heard about in part one are more interconnected and you can understand how things happen. We also learn more about the background of this thing that is terrorizing the people of Shadyside. So based on all of these good things, um, a lot of my questions were answered from part one, so I'm hoping part three answers even more of my questions. Another thing that I really liked about it is that you get a lot more um, character development, you learn a lot more about the characters, and you get more attached to them this time around, which is really good because in part one, I didn't really feel attached. In part two, I'm like, okay, I now understand why things happened the way they did. I am now more close to these characters and why they are the way they are. So I felt a lot more invested this time. I honestly have nothing bad to say other than I still have questions and I would like for them to be answered. And hopefully part three does that for me. <laughs> I give Fear Street Part 2, 1978 a 4. So good. I definitely liked it. I thought it was a really good movie. What I'm hoping for in Part 3, which is released next week, next Friday, is for a lot more of the background, a lot more of why this stuff is happening. A lot of my questions are hopefully going to be answered. There's this big rivalry between Sunnyvale and Shadyside and I want to understand more of why this is happening. I want to understand why murders only happen in Shadyside, Sunnyvale, Sunnyvale seems to be okay. I want to understand more of that. I really hope part three gets into more of that. It should. So part three takes place in 1666 so we go a way way back. Now if you haven't seen part one feel free to check out my review. Um, I didn't really like it. I gave it a three. Meh. It was meh. Um, but I like part two a lot more, so I'm really hoping part three just brings it on home for me. So if you like my videos and you want to see more of my videos, make sure you click the subscribe button and the little bell so you get a notifications. Have you seen Fear Street? What do you think? Feel free to leave your comments below. And until next time.